Kari Kohera Tu tapa mai nuk tu tapa mai rangi Karong te po karong te ao Nga mata waka Te ranga wai ru te o pauri Tai mai ko nei ki te wai pau namu Te kai tahu A te nga koutou ka toa Kia ora And welcome to a new season of hunting Aotearoa From the North Island to the South Island We hunt deer, tar, chamois, wild pig and other feral animals. So join us as we go hunting Aotearoa. E hia kē ngā heke ngā o ngai tahu whānui, me te toko maha atu o ngā uri i heke mai i ngā hapu toko rima o ngai tahu. Arā, a ngāti mamoi, waitaha a kāti kuri, a ngāti irekehu, a kāti huirapa, a ngai tuahu riri, rātau ko ngai te rua hiki hiki. Kā tahi ko te whenua ike ike, mō rea rea raua mō te whakangau ko te waipau namu nei. E harate nei wāhi mō te tangata noiho, engari me tohunga kē anō te tangata, ki te whakangau haere i ngā maunga nei. He mārechi rawa te papa i ngā whiu ngā huka papa a tāwhiri mātea. Mā te waka topa topa hoki e tai ai te kai whakangau te tere piki yake i ngā maunga nei. Nā tēnā koutou te whānau, nō mai hara mai, hoki mai ki hanti nā o te roa. Well, today we're somewhere near something glacier with a guy named... James Scott, good to meet you, mate. Good, how's it going? I'll let you tell me where we are, because I had my eyes closed all the way in here. No, it wasn't that bad, it was a good trip. <laughs> we've left our base at uh, Karangarua, and we've flown into the Horace Walker Hut in the Douglas Valley, which is in the Western National Park. A uh, good chamois and tar hunting area. Uh, the tar live in these bluffs up behind us here, and the chamois are a bit lower down the valley. They climb out of those bluffs and um, up into the rock faces there, right up to the skyline tops, and come back down to the scrub and feed in the evening, feed overnight, and then climb away back up during the day again. You mean to tell me you drop the hunt over here, and they hike up there? Yes, drop the guys at the hut here, and then they may spend anywhere from two, three to seven days here. They'll walk their way up the valley, and then they'll cross over, climb up around those bluffs, up the ridges, sometimes end up right on the skyline. Sometimes the guys hunt low around the scrub, depends on the weather conditions, and, and uh, snow conditions and so on. So I take it that everyone who comes here and climbs up there is related to Edmund Hillary in some way? Uh, maybe. <laughs> They're all pretty fit when they come out anyway. He wā whakaharahara tēnei mōku ki te whakangau i te shamis. Nā James tō māua waka i hautui whai wāhi hoki au ki te kite i ngā shamis o te wā tuatahi. I tā koha mai te karere tuatahi e te āriki o Austria a Franz Joseph i te tau tahi mano i warau mā whitu. I whai oranga nui te tuku o ngā kararehe ki te maunga o auraki. Nā wai rā kā horapa te kararehe nei ki te waipau na mufānu. Kaore hoki e nei o ngā kararehe e ki te ana i ngā ngahere o te ika a Māori. Kua tino marara te tipu o ngā shamis ki runga i te mato o te whenua i te mea kaore anō ki a timata te whakangawa hoko te kararehe nei. He pō hehe nō tātou nō ngā maunga kē te shamis e ngari i te tai hauāru o ngā tūpana maunga kai o ngā waiwai kē te kararehe nei e kō titi haere anu. I ki mai a James ki au i nā rere atu te waka topatopa ka puta hoki mai ngā shami Ka tika huki tāna. Ka fiwa katoa au i ngā hau a tāwhiri mātea. Anō nei, kaore rātau i paku kite i runga rāna i au. Tā rātau nā hoki. I māhuta ake te whakaaro, kia piki aki au i te maunga kia whai wāhi au ki te puhi whakararo i te tahi. He tuatahi tanga tēnei mōku ki te piki i ngā maunga hukapapa 
o te waipau na munei. I konei, ka mārama pai ki au ki ta mōrea rea huki o te hekenga whakararo, ki ta māre ti au, kua tino wharara wātu, kua mate rā nei. I ranga no au e te tahi shemi, ka tahi ka tahuti, nā rā, ka whakaaro au ki ta hau koti i aia. Baga, hui anō tērā, i te hua kore i whakāro ai au ki te whiti atu ki te tua o te maunga. Hei tā, James, he hāwhe haora noi ho te roa. Engari, tauku mōhio ki ngā kaihautu waka rerangi a rātau hāwhe haora, he toru haora kē. Ngā wāhi teitei nei, me ua ua te koutei i te tāwhiti o tetahi pito ki tetahi atu. I te mea, he hanga pātata te āhua o ngā pito katoa. Ka pau te rua haurau e piki ana, ka tahi ka tai atu au ki tona ki o ke onga, ka tahi rā te mutu ngā mai o te tiro hanga atu. Ka mau te wehi. Tahi taku wai mauri i te hikinga o te kohu me ngā kapu i te rangi. Kaore e tāwhiti noa mai i konei, tā mātou ki te ngā atu i ngā kararehe kai ana. Ah, ara te tai. Te nga koe te rangatira, te maunga tūturu, te maunga tapu, te aoraki, kei te mihi, kei te mihi, kei te mihi atu. Well, here I am, on top of some maunga in the middle of Fox Glacier somewhere, covered in snow. This Māori don't like snow, but hey aha, we've seen a few shami, seen a few, seen a few tā, and I've just shot myself a tā about easy 200 metres downhill. Sutane, on behalf of my Te Arawa Walker relations, ta for the koha. Well, I thought it was a ta, but at closer inspection, they tell me it's a 
Shamey. So I think there's a bit of a shame going on here. But never mind. I understand it's good eating anyway. So we'll have back steaks and a bit of stew tomorrow for our tea. Itaku hooking out to get the town of Waka Topa Topa, Katahira, Katimatanga, Hekinga, Arangi Nui, Atafiri Mate, a hooky. Ikonei nga maunga, ka tere tonu te huri o ngā tohu a tāwhiri mātea i te awanga wanga hoki au, kei kore te waka topotope e hoki mai i te kino mai o te rangi. Ka ore anō au, kia tai atu ki te taunga waka i taku rongo i te topotope e haere mai nei, ka tahi au, ka tino tau oku whakaaro i tona putunga i te kohu. E tika ana me mātua mōhio te kai hautū waka i te āhu o te whenua, o nga piki, o nga hekenga katoa. Ahakoa, ko toru te kautau a James Scott e whakahaere waka ana me hihiwa tonu ia ki tana mahi ahakoa te aha. Rawe anō te hoki mai ki te taone a Friends Joseph, me taku mōhio e koreau e wareware e tēnei o ngā whakangau. Arā, te pupuhi i taku shemi tuatahi, ngā maunga hukahuka o te waka a Māui, te mutanga mai o te rawe, tau kē. So is this the full-time job for you? Do you do it all year round? Yeah, we do it all year round. The winter are the best months for hunting tā, they have the best coat, and the bull tās, they start rutting which is their mating season about um, late April go through to about August but they are here all, re all year round a wee bit harder to find at this time of the year but um, lots of tar all year round anyway yeah. And in terms of uh, game still here in, com in comparison the years gone by are they still the same the numbers still the same? A lot less now than what there was 20 years ago but there's still a stable amount in the valley here which is enough to keep the, uh, the ground hunters happy yes. So the old dog people don't come in here and um they do uh, cull through the National Park once a year and they cull out you know, a, a number every year which seems to maintain a good level for both recreational hunters and, and to satisfy the department as well. For the tar, the department has a, a set criteria and they like to see like two, up to a maximum of two tar per square kilometre and if they can keep it to control to that then it's, uh, it keeps everybody happy. The red deer, there's, there's no set numbers on that at present, but if numbers keep building up, then the, the department will have to look at that as well. And they may look at the same thing that a, a per kilometre uh, number to, to set a level at for it. Ka ore he kararehe ko mai ko atu kei ngā maunga ike ike raua o te waipaunamu i te rao te Himalayan tā. I haria mai te tā tuatahi i runga i te kaipuke o Woburn Abbey no Ingarangi. Ahakoa! I tōna whenua tupu ke te kaha kore tōna noho, engari i Aotearoa nei, kua tā oro noa tōna haere ki rungi te whenua. E noho ana te tā i ngā tupu na maunga o te waipau na muanake. If all the stags that were 8, 10 pointers were left this year, then you're going to have nice 12 pointers and better next year. So if it was done that way, it would be better for everyone. Later on today, as, as the evening comes on, you'll see tā starting to climb out into the lower bluffs there. You've got to sit still and do a bit of glassing, but they'll come up out of the scrub and start climbing up the hill, and, you, and you'll see them go up into those bluffs there. I think they'll keep away from the ones up there because they, they might be a bit skinny. The ones down the bottom might be a bit fatter. <laughs> they could be too. Te nuinga o ngā tā kei ngā whaa mano rimarau putu neke atu e noho ana. He mahi nui ki te whakangau i te tā, pera i te rangahau me te whakariterite. He mea nui anō te pakari o te tinau no te tangata, te mau hoki i ngā kākahu, me ngā tapu-tapu e tika ana mo te piki maunga kia kore e whara. Ka ora he rawe rawa atu i te kitenga i te tā e para huti-huti hāri ana i ngā maunga. Kai whera mai te tirohanga atu.
mai ki a ngai tahu i rero atu a raki ki a papa tuanuku ka mahu e tona hoa rangatira a puka harua te po ka heke iho ia mai te rangi ki te papa. Ka tahi ka haere katoa auraki me ana taina ki te kimi i tō rātau na pāpa. I te whenua ka ki te arawati e rātau te ātāhua o Papa Tuanuku me te aroha nui o tō rātau pāpa ki āia. Ka tahi ka hoki rātau ki tō rātau whae. Nā te whatingo te kupu e auraki ki a piki ai te wake ki te rangi. Ki hai te wake i piki ake i noho kē ngā tamariki ki runga i te whenua ki roto hoki i tō rātau waka. Ka hipa te wā ka whakakohatu tia ngā tinana o ngā tamariki nei. Ka huri a auraki me ana teina ki ngā maunga hukapapa ko tō rātau wako hoki te whenua e takoto nei. Te wai paunamu. I've been flying here for about 30 years now and all out of the west coast here. And what's your biggest buzz you get out of flying? Oh, just the beautiful country we've got, seeing the animals here, picking up hunters that have had a great week. Got some animals, come out, all smiles, very happy. Well, you've got an awesome toy and you've got an awesome playground here. We have, yeah, it's very good. Further down the valley there's red deer, and uh, you've got to go a fair way down the valley and back more into the main Karangaroo Valley. Lower down is where the red deer uh, live. Years ago there was red deer up in this open country here, but the numbers uh, have been very low in here for the last 20 years. So it's just red deer, chamois, tar? Red deer, chamois and tar, that's right. No wild pigs here? No pigs down in this country, no. You see, they're like me, they don't like the cold. No. <laughs> and what about the river? Any rainbow trout? No, no trout in this river. Because it's a glacier-fed river, the trout don't like it. Up the heads of these valleys, there's big melting glaciers that are melting and flowing into here, and that water is really icy cold and quite milky because of the glaciers, So, and the fish don't like it. They don't like it? No. It's interesting you're saying about red deer because a lot of the places we've been now, uh, 1080s actually, actually clean a lot of them out. What's your opinion on 1080? Um, 1080 has been dropped in some of the areas in southwestern here and it does have a big effect on the animal numbers on deer. I take lots of hunters in into these areas and they complain to me when they come out that their red deer numbers are very low after they've been 1080 and they're not happy about it at all. In the last five years there's been a lot more interest in, in guys getting flown in after red deers since they've heard that there's been no commercial operation going on. So. I've noticed a big increase in, in hunters and inquiry, inquiries and I've noticed that when they come out they're seeing a lot more deer and they're a lot happier, you know, they're going away with meat in their chilli bins and, and getting some deer and, and that means they're going to come back, which is good for my business. And have you got a special place here that, uh, you know, really your favourite place in this whole place? Um, the whole of the west coast is, is just beautiful to me, I mean, I've been brought up here, here all my life and it, there's nowhere in New Zealand that's better. What an awesome day, scaling those mongers down the other side, shot me a chamois, had to carry it back up the hill though. All you hunters out there hunt in similar places, you deserve all the meat you get. So if you want a good time, come to Fox Glacier, ask for James Scott, Alpine Adventures, and he'll bring you right here. And that's Hunting Aotearoa for this week. What you call a goat? A chamois, actually. Laughing his head off. <laughs> Is it hand, bro? <laughs> Shot me a tammy. Chamois! Here we go. Adam? Yeah, here we go. This is my lineup. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro.